My name is George Sapp. I'm uh, the lead restoration specialist uh, here at uh, the Railtown State Park uh, facility here in Jamestown, California. This is a, a, a Department of Parks and Recreation actually owns and operates this park with the assistance of the California State Railroad Museum Foundation that they make this whole thing uh, possible. So. Well, uh, the people of California uh, decided to preserve it in the early uh, 80s. It became a, a state park. 1982, the California State uh, Parks took over the operation and ownership of Railtown. Uh, this is a very unique facility. The, it has uh, a lot of original structures, including this roundhouse that has the turntable. And out of the six stalls in the roundhouse, five of the stalls hold equipment that was associated with this railroad. So it's, it's not a, a it's not a museum by standard principles. You know, mostly you know, museums they grab their arms around the collection and then fence it off and charge admission. Well, this place just got old. You know, the, the, this locomotive was built for this railroad in 1922. The number three came here and actually helped build the railroad in 1891. So you know it just goes on and on. You know this is not false history. This is not smoke and mirrors. This is the real deal. My name is Matt Sagaser, and I am one of the conductors here at Railtown 1897 State Historic Park. The historic, the significance of the railroad, bringing the railroad in here, allowed them to, to connect with the world via the National Railroad Network. Uh, allowed them to get pr produce, cattle. Uh, this was a big apple producing area. Uh, sugar pine timber was very popular. Very wanted for construction in San Francisco and stuff. So very important to the area, also hauling out mineral ores in the second gold rush of California. Um, it's still viable, it still hauls lumber, it still brings propane up from the winter for, for, for the residents. So it's still a viable railroad and it's still very important to the, to the local community to still provide jobs. Many, 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 many years ago, even bef before it was a state park and it was still run by the Sierra, uh, I came up here as a little child and rode the trains. <laughs> had, I had a great love for trains, so my parents brought me up here to ride the trains. My name is Laura Houston, and I am the student brakeman for Railtown. My first experience at Railtown was crew for a day, actually. So they have crew for a day, and um, my husband and I did um, got crew for a day, and we volunteered right after that, signed up as volunteers. Compared to when it was back in the day, it's about the same um, as it was. The main difference is the fact that back in the day, they didn't have many women doing it except during war years. During the war years, the guys were off fighting and the girls were doing the men's jobs. But um, once the guys came back, then it became mostly men again. You know, people that have, there's been generations of mechanics that have worked on this locomotive, all these locomotives. And everybody leaves a signature on what they touch. I and mean, you know, you can look at it, it's like, yeah, he had it figured out, you know. And otherwise, you know, sometimes you take it apart and you go, oops. <laughs> so, it, I mean, it's, and I'm leaving my signature on these things, you know. We, I was instrumental in, in putting the, this back together. I had a huge, wonderful team. Uh, we, we, we came together with about roughly 15 uh, wrench turners. We all got together and uh, this is actually a, a complete rebuild in uh, 2010, July of 2010. My favorite part of doing this job, um, not only am I a conductor here, I also do maintenance. And so part of the fulfillment is, is working on the old equipment and learning trades that are basically have gone the way of robotics, computers. Uh, we do our own machine work. There's no CNC machines here. If we want a part, we have to make the part. It's not run down to uh, your local auto parts store and say, yes, I need a new side rod for no a steam locomotive. It doesn't happen. Um, so part of the fulfillment here is, is being part of this, keeping this history alive and making it go, seeing it do things and seeing people come here and be happy and excited about it.